Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday morning starter! All right, <laughs> here we are. A little bit windy today, so I hope you can hear me. But uh, Jackson's not here, so I'm filming myself again. I'll try not to make it as shaky as the last one. I was like, when I was talking, I was making it so shaky. Um, I didn't realize until I actually watched it later. <laughs> so anyway, ever since I was homeless, all those years ago, I've really wondered why people become successful. I've really wondered why some people become way more successful than others. And I've been on that journey studying them. I'm interested in them. I'm obsessed about success. I want to know why did someone become, you know, the best at what they do in their field? Why is that? Why do they become worth, you know, a hundred million dollars or five hundred million dollars? Why is that? Why does somebody have a beautiful home? They might have a big mortgage, I don't really know, but why does somebody have a beautiful home that they just love? Why do they create an amazing company? Why do they become one of the world's best authors? Why do they become an amazing mum, like with brilliant kids that are just, you can see it's been a resonance, it's been, a, it's been their responsibility, it's been not their responsibility, but it's been because of them that the kids are so great. Why, why do they become that? Here's why I think. After all, 20 years of researching this thing, this is what I think, three things. It's hunger, it's risk, and it's resilience. They're the three things that I think make people become more successful. So hunger. People who become great at something are hungry to go after the outcome. They're hungry for the result, but they're also hungry on how they spend their time. See, everyone got, gets the same 24 hours. So whatever field you're in, and if there's someone way more successful than you, then they get the same time as you. So Warren Buffett, for instance, he gets 24 hours a day. He's had that his whole life. So why is he wealthier than you? He's made different decisions in that 24 hours. He's designed it differently. And he's been hungry enough to keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. So how hungry you are will determine what you give your attention to, what you focus on. When you're really interested in something, you'll give all of your attention to it. You can't be half pregnant. So you're either pregnant or you're not. And if you're in business and you want it to be really successful, you need to dedicate a lot of your time to it, a lot of your time to it to get that momentum to keep it going. If you're in real estate like I am, you have to give so much attention and focus and hunger to the things every day, day after day after day, and however much time you can, 10 hours, 12 hours, 15 hours, whatever, to get the momentum. But when momentum starts, then you have slightly different choices. But that momentum is powerful, and how hungry you are will determine how much momentum you get on that thing you give attention to. See, I see some people get into what I do, for instance, um, or even being other things, I guess, as well, like an athlete or whatever, like, but I see some people get into real estate, they just don't, they're not all in. They're not fully focused. They're half. You know, they get in and they work and they're busy, but they're not giving the total focus to the things that actually are gonna get them to the top. And I reckon there's certain things in 24 hours that will get you there. So if you're not where you wanna be, if you're slightly off track at the moment, I wanna ask you, how are you spending your day and are you fully pregnant? Are you all in on this thing? Are you totally hungry about the outcome? You can see when people are hungry because they just do things differently. They do things other people aren't prepared to do. Risk, risk. Risk is so powerful. Risk is why people become successful. They, I'm not saying put everything on the line at all costs, but sometimes that's necessary. When I started my company, we only had enough money to run for a few months. And here we are 20 years later, you know, very glad I did, but it's not about starting a company. It's about doing things that make you feel uncomfortable, getting out of your comfort zone. Because if you stay comfortable all the time, you're not finding the opportunities that are just over there. Public speaking was one of my biggest fears ever. But funny enough, I've, I've got some of my best opportunities from public speaking. So if I said no all those years ago to starting to public speak, 
I would have missed so much opportunity, profile building, meeting people, developing business, all of this sort of stuff. I would have missed so much opportunity. And every time I speak, I feel very uncomfortable. But I've learned to deal with it. I've learned to enjoy the stretch. I've learned to enjoy the excitement of being outside of your comfort zone. That's where the exhilaration is. That's where the opportunity is. I want to ask you, are you there enough? Are you playing it safe and just keep playing within your little shell? And resilience. Successful people just keep going. They wear the knocks. They understand that business is up and down, that life is up and down. But when you want something so much that it's over there and you know, you can see where you've got to go, and it might be 10 years, 20 years later that you're gonna, you're gonna get there at some point. But if you can see that and you want it enough, you will not stop. I see so many real estate agents, that's what I do, but I see so many real estate agents change offices all the time. Change, 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 change. I think there's a time and a place to change, I do. Sometimes when the energy isn't right, you need to go find where your energy resonates. But I think sometimes people change looking for the secret formula, when the secret formula is actually in here already. It's already around you. You've just got to stay your course and stay in your lane. I've been exceptional at staying in my lane, doing what I do best. The resilience is the thing that will eventually get you there. The hunger will help, the risk will help, but you've got to just keep marching forward. Here's how important 24 hours is. How you spend your 24 hours tomorrow or today, you're probably watching this in the morning, but today is a snapshot of your future. You can design your future one day at a time. And how you design today will determine how you enjoy tomorrow. That's the secret. How, you are, how hungry you are today to do those things that count, that others aren't doing, that puts yourself out there a little bit, that stretches yourself in the day, and just keep doing it over and over and over again, that's how you design your life. So really, there is no myth about success. There is no secret to success. The question is, how hungry are you? What risk will you take to get there? And how much will you stay dedicated to keep walking in that direction even when you feel like you can't go anymore? Then, once you've mastered those things, then you will understand success is nothing more than designing it with your mind, with your vision, and going after it with everything you have, everything you have in your heart, and eventually you will get there. That, today, I reckon, I hope gets you thinking about what does your success look like and what are you prepared to do today to go after it. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.